Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Biotech Startup Expo 2022 at Prakati Maidan in New Delhi. He also launched Biotech Products ePortal. Speaking on the occasion, PM said India's bioeconomy has grown eight times in the last eight years. He also noted contribution of Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council in the development of the sector in the country. Prime Minister further added that the trust in the skill and innovation of our IT professionals in the world is at new heights. He said the same trust and reputation is happening for biotech sector and professionals of India. अपने डॉक्टर्स, हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल्स की रेपुटेशन को बढ़ते हुए देखा है। दुनिया में हमारे आईटी प्रोफेशनल्स की स्किल और इनोवेशन को लेकर ट्रस्ट का जो माहौल है, वो एक नई ऊंचाई पर पहुंचा है। यही ट्रस्ट, यही रेपुटेशन इस दशक में भारत के बायोटेक सेक्टर, भारत के बायो प्रोफेशनल्स के लिए होते हुए हम सब देख रहे हैं। पीएम मोदी लिस्टेड फाइव बिग रीजंस व्हाई इंडिया इस बीइंग कंसीडर्ड अ लैंड ऑफ ऑपरेशनिटीज इन द फील्ड ऑफ बायोटेक। आज अगर भारत को बायोटेक के क्षेत्र में अवसरों की भूमि माना जा रहा है, तो उ कारणों में पांच बड़े कारण में देखता हूँ। पहला डाइवर्स पापुलेशन, डाइवर्स क्लाइमेट जोन्स, दूसरा भारत का टैलेंटेड ह्यूमन कैपिटल पूल, तीसरा भारत में ईज़ ऑफ़ डूइंग बिजनेस के लिए बढ़ रहे प्रयास। चौथा भारत में लगातार बढ़ रही बायो प्रोडक्ट्स की डिमांड और पांचवा भारत के बायोटेक सेक्टर यानी आपकी सफलताओं का ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड द गवर्नमेंट हैज वर्क टाइमलेसली फॉर इंप्रूविंग पोटेंशियल एंड पावर ऑफ इंडियन इकॉनमी he emphasized that there is stress on whole of government approach. Mantra of Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas is applicable on the different sectors in the country as well. हमारे युवाओं में ये नया जोश, ये नया उत्साह आने की एक और बड़ी वजह है। ये positivity इसलिए है क्योंकि देश में अब इनोवेशन का, आरएनडी का एक आधुनिक सपोर्ट सिस्टम उन्हें उपलब्ध हो रहा है। देश में पॉलिसी से लेकर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तक इसके लिए हर जरूरी रिफॉर्म्स किए जा रहे हैं। सरकार ही सब कुछ जानती है। सरकार की अकेली सब कुछ कर लेगी इस कार्य संस्कृति को पीछे छोड़कर अब देश सबका प्रयास की भावना से आगे बढ़ रहा है। For biotech sector two, unprecedented steps are being taken, which are clearly manifested in the startup ecosystem. In the last eight years, number of startups in India increased from a few hundred to seventy thousand. These seventy thousand startups are made. In about 60 different industries, more than 5,000 startups are associated with biotech. Every 14th startup is in the biotechnology sector. More than 1,100 such biotech startups emerged last year. Number of investors in biotech sector has risen nine times. Biotech incubators and funding for them has increased seven times. Number of biotech incubators have increased from six in 2014 to 75. Biotech products have increased from 10 products to more than 700. Prime Minister said country's bioeconomy has grown eight times in the last eight years. India, he added, is not too far from joining the league of top ten countries in biotech global ecosystem. Biotech incubators के संख्या और total funding में भी लगभग सात गुना बढ़ोतरी हुई है. 
2014 में हमारे देश में जहां सिर्फ छह बायो इंक्यूबेटर्स थे वहीं आज इनकी संख्या बढ़कर पचहत्तर हो गई है आठ साल पहले हमारे देश में दस बायोटेक प्रोडक्ट्स थे आज इनकी संख्या 700 से अधिक हो गई है भारत जो अपने फिजिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और डिजिटल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में अभूतपूर्व इन्वेस्ट कर रहा है उसका लाभ भी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी सेक्टर को हो रहा है PM emphasized that biotech sector is one of the most demand driven sectors the campaigns of ease of living in india over the years have opened new possibilities for the biotech sector tapush patacharya's report for dd india india's bioeconomy has grown eight times in the last eight years it has reached uh, 80 billion dollars from 10 billion dollars the startup ecosystem was in full display at the biotech startup expo 2022 underway at delhi's pragati maidan the expo will act as a platform to connect entrepreneurs investors industry leaders scientists researchers bio incubators all to come together under one roof so now we are joined in our studios by anuradha acharya she is the founder and ceo of one such a biotech startup that is map my genome which is a molecular diagnostic startup based in hyderabad i am very welcome to dd india as the ceo of a biotech startup what has been your experience participating at the biotech startup expo this year also your experience with government's rules and procedures and measures to promote the biotech sector thank you tanvi for for inviting me uh one i think it was an absolutely fantastic event uh, it was a uh, event organized by byrac and i think uh, what we saw was actually a lot of people from different fields whether it was the startups that were exhibiting i think the hall went through i i would assume that looked like almost 1000 different stalls where you could look at different um different companies look at different things that they were making so it was very good the other thing was also the fact that i think getting the prime minister of the country to come and uh, look at all these innovations and be able to see the impact of biotechnology i think gets this uh, sector to way further than than where we are today i think i've been in the biotech space for 20 years now this is my second startup map my genome is my second startup and i think what has happened over the last few years has been very very encouraging we've also seen that byrac has actually been able to actually fund uh, so many startups that otherwise would not have seen wings and i think that that for me i think has been the best uh, example of how uh, actually the government can actually help in uh, pushing forward and give, giving wings to young startups but having said that i think putting all the people together was an absolutely fantastic uh, idea and i think uh, you know also people have met each other in the last two and a half years so i think it was also great to be able to meet a lot of our colleagues and and uh, other investors and many other people that uh, we could find at the byrac event today right and uh, as uh, prime minister modi uh, said that india has been considered the land of opportunities in the biotech sector can you shed some light uh, on how and why india offers such immense opportunities to entrepreneurs in this field of biotechnology so i think the first uh, we really got to see the true nature of the biotech industry during covid because that was the first time i think we had a lot of the supply chains that were cut off and i think what what we really saw was that when the department of biotechnology department of pharmaceuticals pretty much everybody we, we they got together but they also included everyone whether it was academia whether it was uh, industries and others and i think very quickly we realized that somebody in the biotech industry could actually help up in both in terms of uh, building the reagents that we needed we had we we saw that we could also build a lot of uh, uh, uh machines that were needed we also saw that we could actually create a lot of the supply that you otherwise couldn't have done uh before so that was one it was a great way of being able to stimulate that uh, whole process of uh, the atmanirbhar bharat or the make in india but i think the other thing has been that we've always had a lot of uh, innovations that have happened with in our space for instance we've been doing a lot of work on the genomic space but what we also saw was that we started to see a lot of problems that were needed to be solved in the industry that we are working in which is that uh, we have our own problems uh, as being in india and i think a lot of the indian entrepreneurs have been able to rise up to the uh, to that occasion and come up with ways of being able to solve problems that are specific to india whether it is diseases that are specific to india whether it is 
trying to come up with low cost uh, devices that will help us address a large needs of the country today i think uh, one of the things that the biotech industry can do is not just to be able to do research which i think a lot of people think but we actually have a lot of implications whether it is in the field of nutrition agriculture pharmaceuticals you know during covid we found that if it was not for like gene sequencing the genome we would have not been able to see which strain and all of those other things what is happening with the growth of the virus similarly i think we can look at you know things like genomics to be able to understand how humans actually respond to different diseases but also to the virus and other things so we can help in actually being prepared for the future if we are able to invest significantly in this sector interesting how you mention uh, the different uh, fields in which uh, biotechnologies practical implications can be brought into and that's where i, I believe uh, the role of biorac uh, becomes significant so the prime minister specifically noted uh, the contribution of the biotechnology industry research assistance council biorac in the development of the biotech sector in our country especially in bridging the existing gaps in industry academia innovation research so could you tell us something more about the role of biorac in you know to in this regard so i remember you know about 10 years ago when biorac was just starting and uh, dr renu swarup who was uh, then the um, was then the one who actually started this whole uh, uh, process i remember understanding that they basically did consultation with all of us in the industry but found out that there was a a dire need for uh, being able to get the funding for early stage startups because a lot of the venture capital a lot of the other private equity players were not looking at biotech not looking at that risk that was uh, that biotech companies were were bringing forward but what was missing i think was that early stage startup so that we could actually come up with large number of ideas and i think what we are seeing today is that because of that we have also seen a, many of them actually convert and becoming fairly scalable companies and i think you know there is no one else in the country i think it has been biorac that has actually found the, those uh, those companies that are worthy of being uh, funded and has uh, actually put in quite significantly uh, amounts of capital whether it is up to you know i think 50 lakhs a crore uh, or otherwise and i think that was something that was missing and i think in 10 years the number of startups that we have seen in the biotech uh, space has greatly increased uh, thanks to biorac and i have been involved i think also uh, as reviewing some of these that have come in as well uh, to see whether uh, you know many of these startups can be promising so they've also brought in i think uh, members from the industry the burden academia and everybody else and i think that sort of helps us in in actually leveraging the strengths that each one of us bring in but also helps us in actually bringing uh, uh, the number of startups that we are seeing and they are coming out in so many different areas whether it's reagents whether it's devices whether it is in in many other spaces as well right uh, so the number of startups uh, has increased the volume of transactions from uh, 10 billion dollars to 80 billion dollars so that's the strength of this industry but we are yet to reach uh, in the top 10 uh, in the biotech field so what more you think uh, can uh, government do the startups do so that uh, the biotech sector also re uh, receives the growth that the indian it sector has received so i think one is that uh, biotech industry obviously one has a longer incubation period right so you need to make sure that there is enough time for for them to be able to get to the next level so one is that if we can bridge that uh, current funding now that biorac has played the role of the first part which is to get the early stage funding i think if we can find the right kind of investors who can bridge the gap between the early stage and the late stage investments i think that is one area that uh, maybe the startup fund of uh, that uh, funds that were announced i think that could be used to strengthen the deep uh, science in the country uh, the second thing it could also be that you know because we are now focused on uh, the make in india and the atmanirbhar bharat i think it is uh, also important that if we can actually uh, allocate some sort of uh, you know Uh, funds or otherwise to be able to actually build the capabilities whether it is in the space of genomics whether it's in deep science whether it is in building our own technologies because ultimately i think that will help us in uh, building uh, and creating the kind of country that we want and i think one good thing is that you know while we are not there at number 1 i think the good thing is that we have uh, we, you know that's the, that's where we can be if we were number 1 then the only place we would go to would be number 2 or 3 so i think we have a, an aspiration to get to that number uh, and i think the biotech industry is very excited about being able to get there and i think uh, you know it took a while for the it industry and i think we are next so it is the the decade of uh, biotechnology that is uh, just just uh, that we are starting to witness
Okay, the decade of biotechnology is what we are starting to witness, as you put it, uh, as we are going to wind our program. Now, very quickly, I know rather a message you'd want to give our viewers who, are, who, th who may be thinking of pursuing a career in biotechnology. What would you like to say to them? I think, uh, you know, this is uh, biotechnology is not just an idea, but it's an idea whose time has come. So make sure that you understand and be able to get the right kind of education, but also I think get uh, get involved with the number of startups. There are so many different areas. It is something that not just is, uh, a, you know, not just creating a startup, but it's a startup that can create an impact. And I think, you know, when you're able to influence a lot of people's lives, if you're able to change wh what they can see in their day-to-day -day behavior, I think there's nothing better that we can do as human beings to be able to do that. So I think it's an exciting field. And it is a field that now I think has started to see, uh, you know, everybody has started to see the real value. I think everybody now knows what's the DNA and what's RNA thanks to uh, COVID. So I think uh, because of that, I think it is time. I think get uh, go out there, uh, you know, if you have an idea, if you're passionate about it, go out there and, and build that business. Yes. Uh, so. Um you know, we thanks to COVID, we've all become more aware about our health, about our hygiene, and what to say there has this has been the only silver lining of the pandemic. But yes, as you mentioned, ma'am, immense opportunities, and as you say, this is the land or this is the decade of biotechnology in our country. That's it in our special program on biotechnology and the biotech startup, which Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated in Pragati Medan in New Delhi today. And that expo will continue tomorrow as well, and we'll see participation of researchers, entrepreneurs, students, and academia from the field of biotechnology. That's it for now. News and updates continues round the clock here on DD India. Stay with us.